Years ago, I was producing, but I felt a need uh, to get together with people. I felt a little lonely, frankly. And so I decided to get a bunch of uh, women in film together for the first time here in this very room, my living room. So on Monday, March 12, 1979, we had the first meeting of women in film. I'm most proud of the astounding growth of the independent and documentary industry in Washington and women in film's part in it. We forged bonds and professional networks and personal support systems that last to this day. 1983 was the year we tried to make WIF into a national organization and our sisters came from LA and New York to make it happen, but we failed. Immediately, New York and LA got into a pitched battle about whether actresses could be members of the new organization. LA said absolutely yes, New York said absolutely not, and there was no peace in the family until we gave up the whole idea of a centrally organized women in film. 1984 was the year we went global. Together with AFI, we produced the first Women Make Movies 5 International Film Festival. And Ellen Burstyn came to open the film festival. She came from her vacation on an island and made the now famous remark um, that when asked why, why a woman's festival, why, why do men have a film festival? She said, yes, they do. It's called Hollywood. As president, we decided to create a second level of membership, and at the time it was called the Senior Members until there was this huge revolt around that name, um, and now we call it the Executive Membership. Being on the board of WIF in the early 90s and then uh, taking the helm as president was a very exciting time because we were really uh, the tipping point between the women who had the vision to found the organization in the late 70s and those of us who needed to carry the torch on into the next century. And really we started a lot of very exciting programs at that time. We started the professional development series, we started the executive member program, and of course we launched the first gala. The gift that I brought to the organization is I decided that the president and the board couldn't do it alone and we had to have a paid person on staff. And we set the stage, Melissa, so that we could eventually have an executive director. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight for WIF was a year of no money but lots of new programs wanted and how did we do it? Well, with great dedicated board members, lots of wonderful volunteers, Penny Lee started at wanting a job fair, uh, Yolanda Carter wanted image makers, and they're still with us to this day. The best part of being with President was just how much fun we had together. The sense of community and the excitement that we were doing something really good for the community of television and filmmakers in Washington. One week before the gala, Sharon Stone's husband was attacked by a Komodo dragon in the LA Zoo and we were very concerned that she wouldn't come to accept the award because of, he was in pretty bad shape. But Sharon came with her pit bull publicist and wreaked havoc on us. We were planning to do a film festival for children and after 9-11 we decided it would be international in scope because we thought it was important that our children in this region be introduced to children from other countries through this wonderful media. We launched in the following spring Kids World Film Festival. One of my most proudest moments as WIF president is that we were able to get out there in the trenches and sort of stepped up our grassroots efforts to engage the many untapped, talented producers, writers, and directors that exist in this D.C. community. It was always interesting to bond and to work with other women. And then when men, I was there when men came on the board, um, it was interesting to see when we first had our quote unquote first male member of the board. The accomplishment I am most proud of as a past president was realizing it was time to transition with into something bigger, embracing our region's status as the nonfiction capital. It's a real challenge to put your story forward in this industry, and I think 
WIF provides a connection uh, to other media makers, people who can see things just like you do, and it really makes a difference. As founding president, I'm very proud of the fact that I had a hunch and I went with it. I took a chance, invited some people, had a meeting to see where we would go. Happy anniversary, Wiff. Look where you've come from in 30 years and where you are today, a vibrant organization with thousands of members. Women in Film and Video, you rock. Happy 30th anniversary, Women in Film and Video. Happy anniversary, Wiff. You looked great at 30, Wiff. The next 30 years starts today.